Tower safety doesn't start when you pick up the first component, it starts long before that. By the time that you walk onto site and start the job, a lot of work has already happened to make sure that you and everyone around you stay safe while working at height. When a task requires working at height, everyone involved has certain roles and responsibilities that are set out in UK law. In other words, we all have to play our part to keep everyone safe. Network Rail, as the client, has an overall duty of care. That's why they only appoint competent contractors that meet the highest safety standards for any work that needs to be done. The person in charge, or the COS, will set up a safe system of work to ensure that you and your colleagues are working safely whilst in the rail environment. Your manager has planned the work that you're going to do with Towers and will supervise it properly. They've gained the competence that they need to be able to do this. For example, it's their job to select the most suitable access equipment for working at height. If you're using a tower, it's because their risk assessment has shown that it's right for the task. Now they will also consider the weather conditions and ensure that the work doesn't start if it's forecast to be unsafe to use towers and that any towers already assembled are dismantled before bad weather arrives. They've also made sure that you're trained for the jobs that you'll be doing. As an operative, your responsibilities begin when the work does. And there are three key things to remember when using towers. Firstly, follow your PASMA training to ensure that you're always working safely around towers, including when you're assembling, dismantling, using, moving or adapting them. Secondly, towers need to be inspected before use, not just when they're first assembled, but as often as is necessary to ensure safety. And finally, speak up if you think you or others are at risk of injury. All of these topics are covered in more detail later in this video series.